let's see how close we got and we got a <laughs> that's so weird don't give up on life watch this video and we're gonna figure out what personality type i'm going to try to test as isfp awesome well i'll be curious the isfp function stack is f i s e n i t e and that is introverted feeling extroverted sensing introverted intuition and extroverted thinking so let's see you regularly make new friends does an isfp regularly regularly make new friends um man so isfps are very there's a couple i've known are rather warm and inviting people and rather like engaging in a certain way i'm gonna say yes not in an extroverted way but like in a warm kind of way if that makes sense i don't know um you spend a lot of free time exploring various random topics that pique your interest i don't think isfps are like that disagree and i'm i'm finding that so so far <laughs> both sensory types I have been struggling with so i did not get the esfj and i did not get the istp i got the infp but um yeah so i'm curious about the sensory i'm i guess i'm not clicking to understand like how that works so seeing other people make uh crime can uh make you want to cry too um maybe i could yeah i mean you're we're looking at well, introverted feeling for an INFP, I answered that it was like, no. Did I say no? Ah, crap, I don't even remember anymore. Um, so let's just kind of go with that, especially if they are, is, aren't they like protect, not protector types, uh, but very nurturing kind of people. Um, man, you know maybe I'll, s I don't know. There's such a conflict between introverted feeling and extroverted feeling, and I'm, I'm so confused confused about how to like like how does that engage emotion is it a sense of empathy you see people cry and you're empathetic towards them and isfp would they feel empathy maybe maybe not you know i'm gonna go the other direction <clears throat> because introverted feeling and infp if i remember correctly what i did there you often make backup plan to a backup plan Ooh, i'm gonna say no to them you usually stay calm even under a lot of pressure. I'm going to put yes for them. This is how confident I am in it. At social events, you rarely try to introduce yourself to people and most likely talk to people already know. So I want I'm curious about extroverted sensing and how that behaves like you are engaging with the pragmatic world but how you relate to people you know maybe they would be more oh wait i just remember someone who said that they're isfp and i think that will give me a little better clarity um hopefully the other ones uh so you prefer to completely finish one project before starting another so I'm going to say no, disagree. You're very sentimental. I don't know. Would an ISFP be sentimental? The kind that I am thinking of, that I know that are ISFPs, I don't recall them being rather sentimental about things. They're very much about the senses and maybe you can be sentimental about a sense let's we'll say disagree you like to organize or like organization like whatever so <laughs> my reading is fantastic but i say no even a small mistake can cause you to doubt your overall abilities and knowledge i don't think they're like that you feel comfortable just walking up to someone you find interesting and striking up conversation i think infps want to be with someone that can do that but they themselves are not that type um they use the person to be able to go through them to start talking to the person 
if I understand properly, you are not too interested in discussing various interpretations and analysis of creative works. I think they are. <clears throat> um, you are more inclined to follow your heart or your head instead of your heart. I think they would be more of a heart type. Uh, you usually prefer just doing what you feel at any given moment instead of planning. I think they are more so to be like that. Um, you rarely worry about whether you make a good impression on people you meet. Mm. You rarely worry about that. I think they don't worry about that. Um, you enjoy participating in group activities. I think so. Like, especially like friends. And I always kind of wondered about that. Like there's general groups. Oh, I love just kind of being with people and then there's engaging with people that you really care about or at least are close to but I think they like being able to go out with friends um, and do activities with them you like books and movies that you can have your own interpretation oh uh, let's see here I'm gonna you like movies I'm gonna say yes your happiness comes from more from helping others accomplish things than your own accomplishments I'm going to say no. I'm going to try to do extremes if I can. You are interested in so many things that you find it difficult to choose what to try next. What does it mean to be interested in something, especially for an like an FI dominant type? Mm. I'm going to say they they have a better inclination of what they're interested in. You are prone to worry uh, that things will take a turn for the worst for the worse man i think once they get in their loop um they do really struggle about the future and they're not able to stay in the present but when they're themselves i think i think they're more apt to just kind of be in the moment and the present and the future will take a its course where it goes but yeah if they are like pressured into things they will start um uh kind of panicking about the course of the future so it's like which direction do you go the healthy side or like when you're doing all right or when you're not doing all right you avoid leadership roles in group settings Ooh, i'm gonna disagree i think they would be inclined to a leadership role if if drawn to it you are definitely not an artistic type of person that is very i think it disagree um you think the world would be a better place if people relied, relied on rationality than their feelings oh I'm going to disagree. That's so hard to answer, though, because I'm wondering, like, how they would interpret rationality. It's like, of course, we want to be rational about what we're doing and not just kind of be on a whim. But I don't know. You prefer to do your chores before <laughs> allowing yourself to relax. I think that is a no. Um, You enjoy watching people argue. Let's see. <sighs> Argument is conflict intention and i'm trying to see if so extroverted thinking is their least dominant type so they wouldn't be stimulated by puzzles and like arithmetic of some sort as much um but i think they would be intrigued by a debate you enjoy watching people argue. I'm going to say disagree. I'm going to disagree. You tend to avoid drawing attention to yourself. That's tough because like the INFPs that I know, they do seem to, they're like either, you know, artists or just very engaging with people. Um, so I'm going to say no. Your mood can quickly change. I'm going to say yes. Um, you lose patience with people who are not as efficient. I don't think there's so much about efficiency. <laughs> I, hope, I don't know. You are, um, you often end up doing things at the last possible moment. Probably. 
I don't know how tidy they are. I don't think they're terribly tidy people, or at least like with a rigorous schedule and all that. Um, you have always been fantastic or fascinated by the question of what, if anything, happens after death. I mean, who wouldn't? But I think they're very much present in the moment. So I think they're not going to be as inclined. You usually prefer to be around others rather than on your own. Uh, I'm going to say yes to that. You become bored or lose interest when the discussion becomes highly theoretical. That's tough because I've had some theoretical conversations with them. And I wonder if it is their introverted intuition. Well, be saying that because like they're refining certain possibilities and certain theoretical things might stimulate their moral stance on something. I think they, they don't mind it, but I don't think they'll go on for very long. But uh, you find it easy to empathize with a person whose experiences are very different from yours. I think they could be more sympathetic. <sighs> no, well, ISFP. Being sympathetic or empathizing. I know they say empathizing, but it means like if you empathize, you have the experience or at least you can conceptualize the experience. But if you're conceptualizing the experience, then you are sympathizing. Find it easy to empathize with different experiences. Man, I'm going to say yes, but I, I don't know how much they i don't know you usually postpone finalizing decisions as for as long as possible <laughs> if the future is threatened i don't think that much but postponing yes i think they would be inclined to doing that you rarely second guess the choices that you have made i think they do second guess their choices after a long and exhausting week a lively social event is just what you need oh my gosh because they're extroverted sensing, I, and it's not necessary, well, because that could be just as fun as going out to a restaurant or maybe even watching a new movie or like um, stimulating the senses. It's like being present in the moment. I'm going to, I'm going to say disagree. Um, you enjoy going to art museums? I'll say sure. You often have a hard time understanding other people's feelings. I'm going to say no. Um, you like to have to do a to-do list. I'm going to say they probably even hate it. You rarely feel insecure. Again, how do you answer this question? At least in the, other, in the mind of someone else. Um, you rarely feel insecure. Let's see. I'm going to say... I'm going to say... It's so interesting because like when you look at someone, they could see seem secure in what they're doing, but really inside they're like falling apart. And you can't like put on fancy glasses and know exactly what's going on in their heart. If only we could. Um, you rarely feel insecure as an ISFP. That's what I am right now. What do I do? I am not. I just keep thinking no. I don't know. You avoid making phone calls. I don't know. Um, so, especially introverted in time, like just in general, like... I think you would enjoy phone calls with people that you like, but you, if you didn't have to, I think you would avoid it. Um, um, you often spend a lot of time trying to understand views that are very different from your own. Maybe. Introverted intuition, I don't think, is inclined to wanting to explore the different views. Extroverted sensing, I'm going to say like spending time trying to understand, like you're actually going out your way to understand it. I'm going to disagree. 
All right. In your social circle, you're often the one who contacts your friends and invites uh, and initiates invites. I'm actually say yes. Well, yes, but you maybe wish a more extroverted type would do it. <laughs> um, I don't know, actually. Because if you are inclined to kind of get in your cycle of just kind of a stress, like, dang it, maybe not. <laughs> this is hard. If you if your plans are interrupted, your top priorities get back on track. I think that's a no. Um, you're still bothered by mistakes that you have made a long time ago. No, I think that's no you rarely not like maybe that extreme but okay fine we'll put it here you rarely contemplate the reasons for human existence rarely uh, probably your emotions control you more than you control them i'm gonna say yes you take great care not to make people look bad i think they would be inclined to do that to kind of look out for the dignity of another person. Your personal work style is closer to spontaneous bursts of energy. I'm going to say on the more yes side. Um, when someone thinks highly of you, you wonder when it's going to be when they're disappointed. I don't think so. There's a moth slapping around on my light. Wow. Uh, I'm going to disagree. Um, you would love a job that requires you to work alone most of the time. I would think no. I would think they... Well, I don't know. Are they like... Maybe they're... <laughs> they like hanging out with their cats. And if it's just the cats. You know what? Sure. Let's say yes. You believe that pondering abstract philosophical questions is a waste of time. Maybe maybe more so. You feel more drawn... Uh, to places with busy, bustling atmosphere than quiet, intimate places. But I think they're drawn to the stimulus and they want to be invited or at least have a bridge to go into that space. So I'm going to say yes. Uh, you know, at first glance, how someone is feeling. I'm going to say no. think <laughs> you feel often overwhelmed mm. if they're like if they're in the present i think no when they are concerned about the future i think absolutely so um you complete things methodically without skipping over any steps i'm going to say no you are very intrigued by things labeled as controversial i think they would be um i'm sure there's an intrigue uh for their per for their how they're wired um you would pass along a good you would pass along a good opportunity if you thought someone else would need it more uh, i'm going to disagree you struggle with deadlines i'm gonna say agree you feel confident that things will work out for you and again, it's like, I guess it depends on the mindset. Are they being cognizant of, are they being present minded and the things will unfold? Or when they start going into their loop, they're, they literally lose all the confidence of how the future will un unravel. Uh, so you feel confident. I'm just going to say yes. All right. Let's see how close we got. And we got a... <laughs> That's so weird. An ESFP. <laughs> oh, that's so close. All right. Well, an ESFP, their cognitive uh, stack function is um, S E F I T E and N I. So there are some similarities. Um, we have N I, we have F I, but yeah, T, I guess T E, but that's at the end but they are definitely in different places, even if it's just one letter off. So I, I don't know. Does it mean I'm close or does it mean I'm completely off? I don't know. Well, um, hang on for the next one, and I hope you guys have another great day in the planet of existence. <laughs> I'm going to uh, 
survive this moth attack. There are moths everywhere. All right, I'll see you guys in another video. Never lie if you never know. Bye.